and guys, it's Arif from Style Let's Play and we are back with another slime DIY. Today we are going to be trying out the Nickelodeon Color Changing Slime Kit. So I think I paid around $10 for this kit. I'm super excited to try it. Apparently, you know, you play with it and like the warmth of your hands and stuff will make the slime change colors. I am so looking forward to seeing if it actually works or not. And I have a question at the end of the video for all you slime experts. So if you would like to help with me out, make sure you watch until the end. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and open up this bad boy and we're going to see what's inside. So here we have the slime kit. Let's open it and see what we have. Okay, so first we have our little mixing bowl, which is always useful. We have our paint and I guess this is what's going to make the slime change colors. So this is probably like the secret ingredient. Let's see what else we have in here. We've got one bottle of slime activator. We have our clear slime glue. And we have our little containers and mixing spoons and all that good stuff. And where are the instructions? We also have another set. The instructions are right here. These are gonna be the most important thing for me because without these, I probably won't know what I'm doing. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is get one of our mixing bowls, which is right here. It tells us that we are going to need to measure 15 milliliters of glue. So I'm gonna open up my glue and we need to find the 15 milliliter mark, which is about half of this little container that they gave us. So we're gonna make sure we do this exactly like they tell us to because we wanna make sure that our slime comes out perfect. So there we go. That is about 15 milliliters right there. We're gonna go ahead and pour that in and we're gonna grab one of our little wooden sticks and we're just gonna make sure we scrape everything along the sides and put it right in our bowl. Let's put that right in there. We gotta make sure we get everything. There we go. Well, as much as possible. So there we have that. Now it says we need to measure 20 milliliters of water. So I have a water bottle here with me. We're just going to go ahead and do 20 milliliters of water, which is just a bit more than the glue. So, well, I'm not used to adding this much water to slime. Is that, is that really accurate? We're just, we're gonna go with it, we're gonna go with it. So we're adding our water in there. Perfect, now we're gonna put this on the side. And this is add one spoonful of colorant to the bowl with glue and water using the supplied spoon, which is right here. And let's see, it says do not mix the colors together. So we're not allowed to like add purple and green and stuff. We have to just pick one. So I think I am gonna go with purple first and we're gonna add one spoon of this in there. So I don't know if it's like one heaping spoon, one normal spoon, we're gonna add about that much. And then we're gonna put that right in there. All right, and it says stir the mixture of glue, water, and colorant until the slime gets fully blended. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and grab the rest of our paint right in there. And now we are just gonna start mixing this up and seeing if, if anything happens. I feel like 20 milliliters of water was way, way too much, but if that's what they want us to do. So here we have it already. It just kind of looks watery and just, just there's like nothing. It's just completely watery. So now we're gonna hope that the activator saves our lives. We need to add five milliliters of activator which is right down there somewhere. It's just a tiny bit, not a lot. I'm like, why is it not coming out? <laughs> uh, so smart. Why can't I take this thing off? There we go. All right, that explains why it wasn't coming out. All right, so let's open this up. And then we're gonna do five milliliters of this. So there we have the five milliliters. We're gonna pour in a little bit. We're gonna pour about half of that. We're gonna start mixing it. <gasps> okay, that is some kind of witchcraft right there. Did you see it instantly turned? 
turn into slime. <gasps> I am, I am impressed. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit more on the sides where it's not. <gasps> I am so baffled right now. It just automatically turned into this. <gasps> Okay, I kind of feel like this bowl isn't like deep enough. I feel like everything's just gonna pour out. So we're gonna just mix it slowly because I don't want it to just like come out. All right, that's good. Let me try to get this off of the stick. Get off. You gotta go in there. You gotta mix in. All right, let's pour the rest of that in there. There we go. And then we should start seeing it. Oh, yes, there we go. Yes, it's turning into the slime. This is perfect. So we're supposed to continue stirring until all of the stuff is absorbed. There we go, look at that. All right, so now that most of it is done, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just mix it with my hands because I think the warmth of my hands will help it out. So right now, to me, it seems like it's overly activated because you see when you pull it, it's breaking apart. It's got a really nice texture, but I'm a little, I'm a little bit worried that it's a bit too much activator. Okay, what I'm thinking I might have done wrong is I think the water might have been a little too cold. As you can see now, it's starting to get stretchy. And watch this. So you guys saw that it was purple. If I hold it in my hands like this, right? Because my hands are really warm. If I hold it like this, you can start seeing it's turning pink. Yeah, the water was definitely too cold. It's starting to turn into slime. So let's see. I'm trying to wait for it to like get a little bit warmer. I'm kind of just wondering if we could make this turn all pink. It is! Wow, this is amazing. I'm so impressed right now. Look! And as it's turning more and more pink, it means it's getting warmer. And, and, and I feel like it's turning more into slime. So I definitely think the water was way too cold. So what I'm gonna try to do, it's gonna sound a little crazy, but for the next one, I'm gonna try using water that's just a bit warm. Okay, so it's been some time. As you can see, it's completely pink now. And now this is probably one of the best slimes ever that I've ever made. So I'm super excited that it's actually turned out well. And I think it still could be a little less activated, but I am happy with the way it's turned out. So I think the next one will be better. This one was our first one. So I'm happy with it, you know? So now let's see if while we leave it in the room, if it'll turn back into purple, because right now, obviously it is super, super warm. So now on to the next slime. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in this container right here for now. Now it's time to grab our next mixing bowl. And I think I'm gonna make double the amount. So we're gonna double everything that we just did. So this time I'm going to be making like the orangey color one, I think. So we're gonna need our glue first. And if I'm doubling it up, that means we're gonna need 30 milliliters of glue, which is this whole entire thing filled all the way to the top with glue. So let's try that. Perfect. All right, now we have our other stick. It's all clean. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna put this in here. I'm just hoping that this is big enough to mix everything in. All right, so you could see some of it's already kind of getting, you know, slimy because it had some activator in here. See, <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and go with it. So now we need to add 40 milliliters of water. So I've got water that's a bit warmer in this cup. Remember, we're gonna try to do this. So we're gonna do 30 and then we're gonna add 10. So there is 30 and now where is the 10 milliliter mark? It's right there, like that. And now we need our spoon. So our spoon is still dirty, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. Okay, so I've got my spoon clean, so since we cannot mix the colors, that's kind of unfortunate, but it's not too big of a deal. So we're gonna add two spoons of this because, whoa! Where the water's warm, you can see it turning yellow! Oh! <gasps> Did you see that? As soon as it hits the 
top, like the inside, it turns colors. That is so cool. Okay, that is so cool. So there we go. Now, like we did with the other one, we're gonna go ahead and mix this all together. You see it turning yellow? <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe it was a bad idea to use the, yellow, uh, the warm water, but it's okay because what we'll do is um, if it messes up, we've got more and we'll try another experiment. So let me mix this. All right, so there we go. Now we need our activator. What did I do with my measuring cup? Here is our measuring cup. And instead of five, we're gonna use 10 milliliters. So let's go ahead and use that. There we go. We've got 10 milliliters right here. We're gonna add in a little bit. There we go. And we're gonna start stirring it up. Yep, it's doing what it did last time, which is it's turning into slime right away, which is good. And then we're gonna add this out in the outskirts of it. There we go. It's so difficult to mix because I don't want it to like spill all over the place. I'm like, it just, I feel like a witch. <laughs> Whoa, look at that though. I feel like this one's a lot more slimy than the other one. So let's continue to mix this. We're gonna add the rest. You know what? There's only a tiny bit of activator left. And I said, I always feel like I activate it too much. So I'm not going to add any more. I'm gonna leave it just like it is because, oh, look at that. My slime has never been like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And it's not sticky, it's just super smooth. Oh. Okay, so right now it's super warm because I used warm water. So that is why it's turned yellow. So let me get this off my hands. Oh my gosh, I got it on me. Ah! Okay, so I've got my water bottle right here and it's super cold. What happens if I put the water bottle on top? Will it change colors? Whoa, oh my gosh, you guys didn't get to see that. It was definitely turning orange. Look at that! It's actually turning orange! It actually turned orange with the cold! Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this bottle for a while and I'm gonna see if my hands could turn cold. Okay, I don't want my hands to freeze, but you see where that is? That is so cool. Okay, wait, here we go. The thing is, if we check on our other one, it's starting to turn purple again and it's starting to feel cold so it makes sense that it's changing colors and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this one in a container as well and then i guess we're just going to see if it'll change color over time as well so i guess the only thing left for us to do is to try out the green one i mean we have to do it we're just going to go ahead and use our yellow bowl since it's a lot cleaner than our purple one so I'm gonna use this one and we're gonna basically do the same thing. So since we still have a lot of glue left, I'm gonna make uh, double the amount again. It just makes it more fun. There we go. We're gonna pour the glue right in there. We've got our stick over here. I'm gonna scrape that all in there so we make sure we get as much of the glue out as possible. There we go. And now, once again, we're gonna add 40 milliliters of activator which is one of this thing, one of these things all the way to the top. Put that in there. Whoa. Pour that in. And then now we need 10 milliliters. Oh my gosh, are we gonna have enough slime activator? Yes, we are. We still have quite a bit left. So probably to make one more, not double the amount. And then now we're gonna add the green. So let's add two spoonfuls of the green there we go <gasps> i forgot to add the water it's okay it's okay don't worry it's all right it's it's it's, it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay so now for the water oh my gosh i just spilled that everywhere we need 20 milliliters of water i just realized i just did everything wrong like i seriously just did everything wrong i got it confused i was supposed to put 40 milliliters of water, not 40 milliliters of activator. Oh my gosh, what is gonna happen? Oh my gosh, now I'm all confused. Okay, let's see if we could save this. Let's just see if we could actually save this. I don't think so, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try to see if we could. 
actually save this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we can. I'm just gonna mix slowly. I mean, it looks really cool, but this is not slime. This is definitely, definitely not slime. This is like some kind of soup that nobody wants to eat. So, I'm gonna put that over there to the side and pretend that that never happened. Let's not speak about it or nothing. Look at, look at this. This is, this is what it's like doing activities with me. All right. Do over on that one. Let's take it slow. So I don't think I have enough to make double anymore. So we're just going to do the 15 minute. Whoa. Okay. Excuse you. We're just going to do the 15 milliliters. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. We're going to do 15 milliliters. That is it. Luckily, they gave us like 10 of these little wooden sticks. <laughs> so that should be very helpful. Okay, we've added in the glue. The glue has been added. The next step is to add 20 milliliters of water. Okay, let's, let's pay attention this time. So we're gonna do 20 milliliters of water. There we go, we got the 20 milliliters of water. Now we're gonna add our green paint that's color changing. So there we go. They don't give you that much paint to be honest because literally that's it. That's all I have. So let's try to get as much of that paint off of there as possible. There we go. And now we're gonna mix this up together until it turns like this lime green because that's the color it's gonna change to. And then we're gonna add five milliliters of activator. I cannot believe this. I had one job. I had one job which was to make spawn and that was it and I failed. Okay, so I need five milliliters of activator, which is that right there. And then we're gonna start mixing this up so that we get our slime. There we go. This is starting to make sense now. Not like the last one where it was soup. Slime soup that you do not wanna eat. There we go. So here we have our green slime. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the yellow slime did not fit in here, but you can see it's starting to turn like an orangey color. It is starting to turn. So is this one right here. You know, they're starting to change colors. This one, in my opinion, has a lot of a better consistency than this one. Okay, so here's our green one. It's supposed to be like a green to yellow kind of color change. So let's see. Since you guys know I'm all about the experiments and the mess, I decided to put cold water in here and then put the little slime containers inside. And look at that. It's actually changing colors. You can see it. So we're going to leave that one in there. And then we're going to do that to each one of them. So unfortunately, I couldn't do it to the yellow one because um, this happened. <laughs> but look, look at how cool that looks. You can see like the ring around the outside from where the cold water is and it's completely purple on the outside. And then the water stopped right there for the green one. So you can see exactly the color change. And right here, it still feels quite warm. So you can see that it's a bit more lime green on there. But that is so cool. So let's try taking this one out and uh, let's put this one in there so they could change colors. And let's take this one out and see. <gasps> Look at that. That actually looks really, really cool. That looks so pretty. You could, it's almost like you're, you're, you're mixing two colors of slime together but you're not. I am legit shook. Like, it, it, it looks so cool. The way it's all like mixing together and it feels quite cold right now. And it still has the two colors together. So we've got that one right there. And then let's take out the green one. 
take out this green one right here. There we go. And look how pretty that looks. And then as soon as you stretch it, you get to see the two colors so well. That is blowing my mind. It really, really is. So now let's check on our yellow one. So here it is, and you, oh, that looks like a beautiful sunset or something. Okay, let's get this one out of here. Whoa, this one's really slimy. This is probably the one that turned out the best, like out of all of them. And look at that. I just think it looks so nice. Like I could imagine having this sit out get really cold and then as you're playing with it, it's gonna change colors. Even just leaving these right here like this, you can see, you can see that it's changing colors. Oh, I am, I am blown away right now. I really didn't think this was gonna work. I really, really didn't think it was gonna work. So let's check these out one more time. So here we have our yellow slime, which you can't argue, this one, definitely came out the best in my opinion. This is probably, besides my fluffy slime that I made, this is probably one of the best like normal slimes that I've made. So we have this one here. And then we've got our purple and pink one here, which in my opinion also came out really good. I was really worried about this one at the start. So my recommendation is you have to make sure you use water that is actually room temperature. Don't use water that's too hot or too cold. And then the green one, I would say this is probably the one that's, mm, it's still good, but I feel like this one will break apart if I stretch too much. See? See, 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 what, I mean? see what I mean? Okay, we're gonna have accidents. So there we have our slime DIY. I would say it was definitely worth it. It was a lot cheaper than other slime kits. It was about $10. I got it on sale because I got it at Toys R Us. So it had 10% off because we all know, unfortunately, Toys R Us is closing forever. So I got like 10% off on it. But I said I had a question for all my slime experts out there. My question is, after you've made slime and you put it in a little container, how do you not make it get like, like hard? Let me show you. A few weeks ago, I made the slime shaker slime and it did work out well, right? But look at this, right? It's like, it's like a ball now and you can play with it and you can stretch it, but it doesn't feel slimy like this. Like, look at this. See how that just like, whoa, 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 whoa. And this one's just like, it's just there. <laughs> I mean, I feel like once I warm it up and I play with it a little bit, it will it will get more stretchy and stuff, but it doesn't have that like, like that sliminess, if you know what I mean. Like, do you add, what do you add to it? I was gonna say, do you add more activator? But I feel like if you add more activator, it's just going to make it even, even tougher. It's not gonna make it slimy anymore. I mean, like you can see this slime, it's not tearing or anything like that. So it's still really good. But when you first take it out of the container, it's really hard. Is it just a matter of playing with it? Like what, do, what are you supposed to do with it? Let me know, I need your advice. I'm actually quite surprised. This slime actually did really well. Wow, all right, so, oh, excuse me. I have had other slime that no matter how much you play with it, it just will not get that sliminess anymore. But I am so proud of this slime. I like, look at this. This is pure perfection. So anyway, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this slime DIY. And if you did, make sure you let me know what other slime kits you want me to try or any toy reviews you want me to do. In the next few weeks, I have a Nom Noms unboxing coming out. And I'm also going to be doing some mystery little like unboxings of my first ever squishies. I bought my first ever squishies and I am so excited to open them up with you guys. So once again, I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Ow, I just stabbed myself.